Readings, it's Ariana. I am here with your June 28th, the week of June 28th reading. Happy um, solstice and happy full moon. Hopefully everything will be illuminated for you guys and things will soon be getting better. Um, so before we get started, I wanted to let you know that the Shaman Oracle card that I have up here is um, the Spirit of Healing. And this is from um, John Matthews and Will Kingham. And a little bit of the notes that I have in my book is the spiritual, the spiritual healing focus on what is wounded now and allows the light to cover it. So it is time for us to heal is what it's saying, water signs. And um, both mind and body. Um, and it says, throw off the darkness that has overshadowed your life. And I put on here, it's time to cleanse, it's time to fast and pray. And fasting doesn't necessarily have to be just from food. It can be a technology fasting. It can be a fast from whatever you feel will bring you enlightenment or change. Um, the spirit of healing makes a journey to with our guiding spirits to find cures for uh, those of us who have been hurt in a way that cannot be treated by natural means. You know, the spirit, unfortunately, at times we can't see things, so it doesn't make it real. So it's like, if you can't physically see the pain, does it really exist? And yes, it does. So it's about addressing our inner sickness and restores us to, to um, wholeness. The interpretation for this is opening the door to healing, the ability to receive the healing, and understanding the reasons why things happened. And it's all about spiritual healing. Um... I did. A, I helped a friend do a cleanse this uh, past week, um, a limpieza, I guess you would call it, with um, with the egg and the lemons and everything. And every night I would look at the pictures that he would send me to interpret them, and it was amazing <coughs> the things that we saw in there, and how much how much better he felt when it was over. And I, some of you may not believe in this, but there is there is um, bad energy out there. And sometimes we need to get it taken off of us. So if you're ever interested in a spiritual healing or want to know more information about that, just send me a message and I'll be happy to share with you some of the information that I found on it. So you have the spirit of healing walking with you, uh, water signs. And um, this is, I don't know if I just said this or not. Um, this is for Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer, okay? And um, behind them we have our... Um, Spirit guides. We have our carobs, and hopefully you've watched the carob videos. And basically, we have the carob of awakening, which is initiation, which is the arrows. The carob of protection, um, which is the carob of um, wands. The, the carob of love, cleansing, and fertility would be the carob of cups. And the one who makes it all happen in the physical plane is the carob of gifts. So um, once again before us, we have the Babylonian Tarot by Sandra Tabasquero. I have shuffled a lot off camera, so I just want to make sure that I get a good shuffle in. All right, let's see what the cards have to tell us, water signs. Oh, beautiful. Six of Cups. All right, some pleasure. <laughs> Seven of Disc reversed. Nine of Cups. Oh my goodness, water signs. <laughs> Oh my goodness, and the Ace of Wands. Y'all are, are some lucky, lucky, luckies. <laughs> and then we have Ishtar, which is the High Priestess in this deck. Hmm. Some information is coming in that you've been waiting. Something hidden is coming out, maybe with this full moon. <laughs> so I'm getting excited because I feel like you deserve this. It's time to heal. It's time to feel good. You know, it's time to enjoy life so every time i see the six of cups and i love the way they have like the two people kissing and then they have the man and the woman drinking and enjoying themselves and reminiscing on how great things were and so i kind of feel like you're remembering that and i kind of feel like you're remembering it for a reason i don't know if um water signs you tend to um work a lot or something and you've kind of forgotten the pleasures of what what you have at home or what you could have almost like you're um not giving yourself the the pleasure that you should have if that makes any sense um like you're 
I don't know, kind of like afraid to indulge in this. And, and it's not an indulgent in, in a bad way. But what this tells me is that there's some inner peace going on. Um, indulgence, gain, success, well-being, um, pleasant memories and remembering. Um, and change is ahead, so good times. Uh, maybe a new career is coming, an inheritance, an old friend or a lover may be returning. Ooh, maybe that's your wish fulfilled. <laughs> I hope so, but um, it looks pretty exciting, um, and that's what's bringing in, and if you remember on the carob, it's the ace of arrows in the back, so it's almost like you got two aces, um, so this is this might be a, um, an, an old flame <laughs> who is returning, or maybe that's what the healing was about, and, and now we have some good vibes coming in, so what does the carob of wands want to tell us? He's trying to protect us from something. And every time I see this little this little bull sitting over here, I always think of like, oh, he's, you know, stubborn little bull, doesn't want to move because he's waiting on somebody. And he's waiting on Tammuz, the Capricorn God, actually. And he's sitting there and he's waiting for him to be released from heaven, from hell, from heaven, from hell. And um, because there was nothing good going on while he was gone. And um, so there he is and he's waiting at the pits. Um, so reversed in my deck, it kind of means like some money worries, some, you know, maybe you, you gambled a little bit too much or you gave away too much, but I, I kind of see it like, um, what the carib is trying to tell you is like, don't be stuck in your old ways. I mean, you have so much to be moving for and shaking for. Don't be so much focused if this person from the past comes back to think that they're going to be the same exact way. Like if you're going to be open to receiving them, it's time to be open and just let things happen. Um, and like I said, there's two stories. Well, I didn't even say that, but I see two stories. So I see somebody coming in. And I kind of see uh, you like, oh, hell no. You have your little arms crossed like the little bull is. And you just don't want it to happen because you're remembering everything that, was, that has happened before. But, you know, the Carib of Cups is saying this is what you wished for. You wanted them to come back. And I'm giving you your wish because the Carib of Cups um, has the Nine of Cups in front of him. And the Nine of Cups, this is another, um, he's similar to a Carib almost. Um, how, how, what is his name? I forget the name. Hold on. But he, he was like a priest. And um, he was always... And this is attributed to um, Aquarius, Pisces, and Scorpio. So this is you guys. This is you guys making, a, um, making your wishes. And this is... Okay, this card shows the Babylonian fish garb figure. Okay? And this is like a priest. And he exercised demons of disease, magically protecting them. Okay? This was known as Apakula. Sorry, I forget the names. And he's like the wise man or the sages, okay? And this was before the flood. This was before the great flood, okay? And this was his job. And he was extremely wise and he was entrained in everything by Ea, which was the magician, okay? So the, they know they know everything. And he's a purifier and he has his bucket. And he's cleansing these nine cups that you have that you're wishing for, right? So complete success. Oh my goodness, that is so wonderful to know. Isn't that great to know you're gonna have some complete success? Your wish fulfilled. It's almost like your genius saying, yes. And remember kindness and aid toward others. You know, you're looking for that, um, that security and peace and you're gonna start rejecting the superficial stuff. So um, that is like a very promising card, the Carib of Cups. That's like having two genies in the bottle to think about it because they're both, um, he is similar to a carob also. So this looks like a very promising week, actually. And then you have the Ace of Wands illuminating everything. And actually, that Ace is Ishtar's um, wand. So I feel like she's shedding light on something. And you see a lot of passion um, because I see, like, the lighter blues and then, the you know, the earthiness. And that's where you're being very stubborn. And then, then the wand is coming in. And it's like, oh, no, I'm about to show you that good things are coming your way because aces are gifts from the gods and and you, they just haven't manifested yet it's like a portal so it's like the genie is opening up the portal for you and telling you come on let's let's walk through this let's do this together um hmm. the high priestess and the ace of wands be um somebody might be pregnant 
<laughs> so that's a good thing if that's what you're hoping for. Someone might be getting pregnant or they might be announcing that they're pregnant. So um, I see an ace right now. So it means basically it's awakening you up. Um, it's telling you that this is a good time to start this relationship or a good time to start things. It could possibly be with a fire sign because we have um, Ishtar here and she's on top of her um, on top of her totem animal, which is the lion. So you might be involved with, um, and I see the two lions over there also. So you might be involved with a Leo or with a fire sign. So water signs, um, this is a good thing. It's a gift of love. It's a new cycle. Like things are coming to manifestation and um, new relationships are happening and you're getting what you wished for. I don't, and I guess that's part of why you're healing um, also. So, wow, what a, what a wonderful week. <laughs> Luckily, it's not all, you know, negative stuff because sometimes I'm like, wow, I sound like Debbie Downer. <laughs> I don't want to sound like that all the time. Um, a little story about Ishtar, though. Um, Ishtar is quite interesting. Um, she was known as um, Belet, or the lady, the feminine form of Bel, which is Lord. But she was kind one moment and, like, really, really mean the next. She was, um, she was like the goddess of love, but also the goddess of war. So she has dualities. And um, she was the symbol, she symbolized fertility of the earth. So that's why I'm saying there could possibly be some um, baby making. So we got the lovers, <laughs> the wish, well, I call them the lovers, but the six of cups, the nine of cups, the ace of wands, and then Miss Fertility over here, who um, I'm telling you, it might be a very interesting week um, for some of you guys. So um, she's kind of telling you to trust your intuition. Um, some stuff, some secrets might be revealed with... Um, right in the right time so I kind of feel like someone might be announcing that they're pregnant or that um, you're gonna have a baby or some some good news hopefully it is good news um, or maybe you thought you were sick and you were just actually pregnant I don't know but um, this seems like a very good overall week the warning that I have for you is not to be stuck in your old ways though because the seven of disc is just he just he will not move he will not budge and he's waiting and the thing is, you got what you wanted, you know, you, you wished for it, you got it, and it's here. So hopefully this resonates with some of you guys. Um, and I don't really think I need to clarify anything. It looks pretty cut and dry to me. It looks pretty exciting. Um, for others, you might find yourself getting some secrets that may not be so wonderful. But I'm kind of feeling like they are just because, like I said, you have the two aces because I'm counting the carob with the arrow as an ace because it has the, the, um, the ace of arrows in the back. Six of cups, nine of cups. I mean, my goodness, it's going to be a pleasurable week. So um, enjoy yourself, water signs, and um, hopefully you have a good week. Let me know if this resonates with you. And like I said, if you want to know more about um, a cleanse or a detox, a spiritual detox, feel free to hit me up with a message. I'll be happy to share um, share some insight with you. So basically that's all I have for you guys. You guys have a great week. Thank you for subscribing. Please like, and share. And I appreciate, um, the comments and the messages that I've been getting in my, um, in my inbox. So just feel free to hit me up. I, I love reading your, um, emails and I love sending out stuff. So, um, thank you very much and talk to y'all next week.